So I'm Francisco Jardim. I'm a venture capitalist from Brazil. Uh, we invest mostly in ag tech uh, in the state of Sao Paulo. We've been backing some of the most exciting agriculture technology companies in Brazil, and we're here to expand. So uh, one of them was benchmarking. Uh, as we've been backing companies in the forefront of technology in Brazil, in IoT, mobile, SaaS, biotechnology, uh, we've been a bit limited into what we've been seeing as groundbreaking, looking at the Brazilian ecosystem exclusively. So we wanted to go and see where the best is being done, where the boldest entrepreneurs are really do cutthroat disruptive innovation. And we were not aware that the Valley was uh, so sophisticated in ag, uh, so we were notified about the event from uh, Silicon Valley Forum. We were very excited to come out here and see what's the best that's being done. And we got to see fantastic things in drone technology, satellite imagery, uh, biotech, digital, mobile, uh, it's, it's been great. So this is interesting. Uh, it was so diverse. No? We got to see some of the best researchers in laboratory science uh, at UC Davis, one of the, the elite centers on the planet. But we also got to see it applied on the field, such as at the Oakfield Research up in Napa Valley. Uh, we got to see great companies backed by the best VCs, like Precision Hawk, backed by Anderson Horowitz and Horizon Ventures, and these guys uh, doing automated robotic uh, pesticide uh, applications. So it's, it's I mean, it's, it's been very complete, very comprehensive what we've been able to see from applied science to laboratory science and how that's being bridged, how that gap is being bridged back here in the valley. start by the networking. So we got to see uh, and really spend quality time with people who are in IoT at Intel, people who are at major corporate ventures, um, some of the leading entrepreneurs in, in, in uh, emerging markets or new markets uh, such as New Zealand, for example, Colombia. So there was a rich international atmosphere to it, a uh, very free flow of ideas. So people weren't uh, secretive or afraid to share, collaborate. Um, then we got to visit leading farms of very high value added crops such as almonds and such as Driscoll's, a major billion dollar uh, international operation of strawberry and how they're implementing technology. And we got to interact with the CEO, the director of strategy uh, and innovation and, and really test them on where they're seeing uh, disruption in agriculture going, where they're going to be investing. And for us coming from Brazil, which is a major agricultural powerhouse, but which has been benefited by a lot of natural resources, such as sun, soil, water resources, but hasn't been as quick as in adopting technology as the Valley has needed to. Uh, it was really good to see where we're going maybe in 20, 30 years, so that as a venture capitalist, I can place my bets now, looking at what's happening in a mature market. So when Brazilians are thinking about disruptive innovation, entrepreneurship, the first things that come to their mind are replicating models such as you know, Microsoft's Bill Gates or Larry Page and Google and, and these guys in Brazil. Um, but I think they've, they've missed the, the dot that Brazil is a global competitive powerhouse in agriculture. And um, they have no idea what's going on in the Valley. And I think the Silicon Valley Forum has managed to bridge that, that gap for entrepreneurs all over the world. And now, focusing on ag, I think we can shorten that gap and really see the major opportunities that are happening. And I think the Brazilians that managed to come, participate in a forum like this, they can really benchmark, see best practices, and really gain uh, many, many years in terms of what's going on in Brazil and how quickly technology is gonna change in agriculture in Brazil.